Yeah, hello everyone. So guys, so it is a mock test, test one, open mock discussion, right? And those who are watching this video, I would request you all to please uh, attempt the paper first before uh, watching this video actually, right? And the paper is given uh, like the description, the, paper, uh, the link of the download of, I mean the link is given in the description, you can download the paper, right? And then first attempt the paper and then watch this video, right? Then it will make more sense, fine? So guys, uh, yes, uh, first of all, uh, I just want to know from you guys, how was the paper? Paper acha tha? Acha, we should ready for all type of question papers. Okay. So like overall the paper was tough or easy or moderate or like moderate, moderate to tough? Yes. So actually it was the lines of 2023 only, right? So guys, we have tried to, you know, uh, try to give you the paper which was actually based on 2023 because the thing is, uh, what I feel is ki, like 2023 was the pinnacle of the difficulty level, right? So, uh, se upar zyada to nahi wo. but the thing is ki wo, they can maintain the level of 2023, right? So, this can be done, fine. So, we have to be ready for the, you know, for the like most difficult paper, so that the actual paper, we, we may feel the easier one, right? Abhi aap tough paper kar lije, mock mein aap tough kar lije, so that actual paper mein aapko zyada problem na ho, right everyone? So, anyways, guys, see, the thing is, the purpose of this discussion is, here, I, I won't be solving each and every question or in detail, right? I may give you the clue and I may tell you like how to solve this question, how to go about this question. I may tell you the approach also, right? And before that, the very important point is that like whether you are going to solve this question in the examination or not, right? Okay, that is actually very important. Like how to choose the right questions, what to pick and what to draw. Okay, that is actually very important. Fine. So let's start the discussion, guys. Here, so uh, I won't discuss reading comprehension as always. Huh? <laughs> He's saying, sir, okay, sir, okay. <laughs> we pardon you for that. Huh? So, anyways, after that, guys, question number five. Question number five says a test booklet, a question booklet contains 100 questions for a test. A candidate gets 5 marks for every correct answer and loses 2 marks for every wrong answer and no mark for a blank answer. Consider the following statements about the marks of a candidate, right? Consider the following statements about the marks of the candidate. The first statement is he can score 461 marks. The second is he can score 464 marks and the third, third one is he can score 441 marks, right? And the options are only one statement is correct, only two statements are correct, only three statements, sorry, all the three statements are correct and none of the three statement is correct, right? So guys, just tell me the first thought that came to your mind after reading this question. Okay, see all of you here, the thing is a candidate is getting for not attempting, he is getting what? He is not getting anything. I mean, no negative marking for not attempting the question, right? But if he has attempted the question and the question got wrong, then he is actually, the actual penalty is minus seven. Why? Because five marks for that question and minus two for a correct question. Getting it everyone, right? So actual penalty for a wrong answer is minus seven. Yes or no, right? So suppose that here, like the correct, if if let's say all the questions are correct, suppose that, right? If you attempted all the questions and all are correct, fine. So what will be his total score? 500, 100 into 5, right? And here he is scoring 461, right? So 461 is how much less than 500? It is 39 less than 500, right everyone? So 39, if it can be expressed as the multiple of 5 and 7, as the combination of 5 and 7, then it is a possible score, else it is not. Correct everyone? Right. See, 500 minus 461, this is 39. 
if 39 is possible as the linear combination of 5 and 7, then this score is possible, right? And 39 is what? 39 is 25 plus 14, we can say. 25 plus 14, right everyone? So 25 plus 40. So see, the thing is, here, the score is total minus 39, right? From 500, it is minus 39. So this is what? Minus of 25 plus 40, correct? So 14 is what? 14 is two questions wrong, right? And minus 5, I mean 5 questions left. Getting it everyone? So here actually he is attempting 95 questions. Out of that 2 are wrong and 93 are correct. Getting it everyone? So 93, if 93 are correct, so 93 into 5 and 2 are wrong, so minus 2. Guys getting it? 2 means 4. Yes or no? These are attempt, these are correct, these are incorrect, right? So final score is this. Guys, yes or no? Correct everybody, right? So 93 into 5 will be what? 465? 465 minus 4. 465? Guys, okay? Right? So approach for these type of questions is what? If a score can be represented in the combination of 5 and 7. Guys, yes or no? Right? So this is the only approach. If you know this, then you can attempt this question. If you don't know this, then please don't go for this question. Else, up hit and trial karte rahe jayenge, parishan ho jayenge question. Got it everyone? Right? Now, can you suggest me for this? What is this? What is, I mean, what is the difference of 464 and 500? 36. 36 can be represented as the combination of 5 and 7. Yes or no? What is that combination? 21 and 50. 21 and 50. She's right. Guys, this is 21 and 15. 15 means 3 not attempted and 3 are incorrect. Right? 3 not attempted, 3 incorrect. Guys, getting it or not? Right? It means total attempted questions are 97, out of which 3 are wrong and 94 are correct. 94, 97 attempted, 94 correct and 3 are wrong. Everybody clear? So for second set, I mean 97 attempt, 94 correct, 3 are wrong. Right? You may check the total score 97 into 5 minus 21. Sorry, 94 into 5. 94 into 5 minus 21. Everybody, yes or no? Right? Clear? This. Huh? See, see, the thing is, 21 is what? See, minus 7 is the penalty for the wrong answer. So, minus 21 will be the penalty for 3 wrong answers. Right? It means 3 questions are wrong. Correct? And, minus 5 is the penalty, sorry, uh, 5 is the penalty for not attempting a question actually. Right? So, here, 15 is the penalty for 3 not attempting the question. 3 questions are not attempted. So, total he has attempted 100 minus 3, it is 97. And out of that, 3 are wrong, right? So, 97 total attempt, 3 are wrong, 94 are correct. Getting it everyone? Okay. Now, can you suggest me the combination for the third one? 59. Yeah, two combinations. It might be, see, the thing is, if you 9, then you break it 14 plus. It's very easy. Hai. See, the thing is, this is 59 less than 500, right? So, it can be 45 plus 14 or 49 plus 10 also, right? 49 plus 10, what should be the, I mean, 
what should be the combination for this score and what should be the combination for this score. What should be the combination for this score first? 2 unattempted and 7 incorrect, right? So, 98 attempt out of that 7 are incorrect, so 91 correct, right? So, 98 attempts, 98 attempts, 91 are correct, sorry, 91 are correct and 7 are incorrect, okay? Then these many marks are possible. And what about this, guys? What about this? Quick. How many attempt? 91 attempt. Why? Because 9 questions are unattempted. Right? 91 attempt out of that 2 are incorrect. So 91 attempt, 89 correct, 2 incorrect. Getting it guys? So this score is also possible. So friends for these type of questions the approach is this only. Right? What is the true penalty for the wrong answer? If you know this, then go for these type of questions. If you don't know this, then please leave this question. If you hit and trial, you will be worried. Everybody clear? Right? Okay. So what is the answer? All three. Right? So this is the approach of this question, guys. Look, solution is not enough. Answer is not Answer to come. You will get the answer anyhow. Right? But if you know this approach, then you can, you will be comfortable for these type of questions. Else you will be very much uncomfortable. Aap soste rengi yari kaise hoga, kaise hoga. Right? Like here you got two combinations. Sometimes UPSC may also ask the question from this. Right? How many combinations are possible if a candidate is getting the score of 441 out of 500? Suppose that I am framing another question. Right? Clear? Like how many combinations are possible if the candidate is scoring 441 out of 500? Correct? So like 1, 2, 3 and not possible. Suppose that these are the options. Okay? So when you only know the approach, then you can go for these type of questions. Clear? Okay? Shall you move guys? Hmm? Any doubt? Anyone in the class? Clear? Okay. This question, see, if you know the approach, then you can solve this question in like one minute, I think. One or 1.5 minute answer. Not more than that. But if you don't know the approach, then obviously time is infinite. The sky is the only limit. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, abhi kya hua, abhi aapko samajh mea na. Now, if you are getting this type of question once again, then the time will be less. Right? So, this is the very purpose of this test case. You will get different, different type of question and with those type of question, you will get the different, different type of solutions also. Right? The exact approach for that particular question. Right? Okay, guys, uh, shall we move to the next question? Hmm? Okay. Yes. Mujhe ye batayye. You will solve this question in the first glance or not? Hmm? Will you solve this question for the first, I mean in the first glance or not? Uh -huh. You will solve this question in the first glance or not? The question is saying, what is the principle, right? And the question is saying, consider the following items. Which consists a question and two statements decide which one ones are required to answer the question. The question is what is the principle, right? The compound interest for second year only is 1380, right? It is not saying the compound interest for two years. It is saying the compound interest for particular second year, right? The first thing is this. So have you solved any question where the compound interest for particularly second year is given? Because the thing is in simple interest, the interest for every year is same. But in compound interest, the last amount is treated as the principal for the next year. Clear everyone? So have you solved any question earlier? 
If you didn't solve these type of questions before, please leave it. Right? If you have solved these type of questions in your practice sessions, then you must be knowing the approach of it also. Right? Guys, you know what? In the examination, familiarity of the question is very important. Right? If you are not familiar with the question, please leave it as it is. Right? Don't go for that question. Right? So, it will be a little strange. But if you are not familiar with that type of question, just leave it. Clear? Right? Okay? And in your life also, suppose that uh, if you go to a party, right? I have, I have like said this several times in the class. If you go to a party, right? So, with the whom, I mean, you are taking tea or coffee. Who is known to you? Who is familiar to you? Right? So, similarly in the examination hall, if you like open the question paper, then several questions are coming in front of you, right? So, first of all, attack those questions which are familiar to you guys, right? Don't go for any, any like such question which you don't know at. So, anyways, if you have solved this type of particular case in the class, have you solved this case? Hmm? <laughs> right. That's a general answer. So, anyways, if you haven't done it, don't do it. If you have done it, then it's okay. Right? Shall we discuss? Hmm? Okay. See everyone, like I discussed this question with the help of uh, uh, 1 by A concept actually. Right? Let me tell you what. Here the question is saying, the rate of interest is 15% and compounded compounding is being done annually. Right? 15% is what? 15% is 3 by 20. Right? So, I assume this as principal, this as interest. So, amount will be 23. Principal plus interest. <coughs> Everybody clear? Right? Now, what are they talking about? They are talking about two years. Like, it is the second year case. Right? So, for second year, we need to go for like, we need to go to the second year also. Fine. So, principal will be assumed as 20 and since it is 2 years, so 20 raised to the part 2. Right. So, this is 400. Now, guys, it is SI and it is CI. Right. 15% of the principal is the rate of interest. Right. SI we don't need. So, for first year, it will be 15% of 400. That is what? 60 rupees. Right. For second year, it is again 15% of the principal plus 15% of this. 15% of this is 9. Right. So, interest for second year only according to us is 69. Right. And the question is saying the interest for second year only is 1380 rupees. Right. So, we have assumed that, I mean we have found it 69 and the question is saying it is 1380. This is 20 times of this. Right. So, guys, what we have assumed the actual question is 20 times of that value. Right. Or we have assumed 1 by 20th of the actual question. Right. So, we have assumed the principal as 400. So, question is talking about what is the principal. So, 20 times of this. So, this is 8000. So, both the statements are needed to solve this question. Right, everyone? Right. Ab yaad aage yes, aapko? Yes, yes. Is everybody fine? <laughs> is everybody fine now? Hmm? Clear? Okay. Right. Done? Okay. All right. Now, shall I remove? Hmm? Can you move to the next question? Hmm? Okay, the next question is, at what time the two trains cross each other? At what time the two trains cross each other? Right. The statement number one, train A leaves Kanpur at 5 a.m. and reached Prayagraj at 9 a.m. Statement number two, train B leaves from Prayagraj at 7 and reached Kanpur at 10.30. Guys, whether the given information is sufficient to find the answer or not. But we need both the statements. Right? Alone one statement is not sufficient. Because in first statement, they are talking only about train 1, right? And the question says, at what time the two trains will cross each other, right? 
and in second statement alone they are talking about train 2 only right and the question is at what time the two trains will meet so obviously both the statements are needed to solve this question everybody clear right both the informations are needed to solve this question guys done fine so this was a simple question if you don't need to solve it completely right so here both the statements are required to solve the question right everyone fine नहीं तो एक बार करके तो देख लो पता नहीं सॉल्व ही ना हो तो क्या करोगे अरे आंसर कैसे अच्छा अभी देख लेते हैं ऐसे कुछ क्वेश्चन जहाँ पे आंसर आएगा कि नहीं आएगा एनीवेज एनीवेज शैल यू मूव गाइस नाउ ओके तो ये क्वेश्चन नंबर एट फाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट गाइस क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सेस कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग all the angles in degrees of a triangle are prime numbers. Okay. And the statements are, such type of triangle is not possible. It can be an isosceles triangle. It can be an scalene triangle. Okay, guys. All the angles of a triangle are prime numbers. See, everyone. All the angles of a triangle are prime numbers. When you read this statement for the very first time right then what is the first thought that is coming to your mind after this see everyone one of those number would be two why because the thing is the sum of all the angles of a triangle is what 180 degree right so here Let's say these are angle A, B, C, right? So A plus B plus C should be 180. Guys, this is an even number, right? So even plus even plus even, either this is, the sum is even or even plus odd plus odd. Either this sum will be even, right? So the question is trying to say the sum of three number is an even number. So the sum of three prime numbers is an even number. The question is trying to say this, right? So, this case is not possible because 2 is the only even prime number. So, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6, it's not equal to 180, right? So, this case is ruled out and here this is 2 plus, let's say, B plus C, right? Guys, yes or no? So, after reading this statement, the first thing that should come to our mind is one of those three angles would be of 2 degree. That's it. This is the only information that we can derive from the given statement. Correct? After that, the question says, such type of triangle is not possible. Okay, let's try this. See guys, 2 degree plus, see, it is 178, right? So 178 by 2 is what? 89. Because they are saying it is an scalene triangle. So scalene triangle means what? I mean, what? Scalene is what? All the angles are different. Isosceles is what? Two angles are same. So if the question is saying two angles are same, then obviously if two angles are same, then they will be like half of 178 because their sum will be 178. Right? So we have done half of 178, that is 89. Now we need to check 89 is prime or not. If 89 is prime, then we have the combination 289-89. Guys, yes or no? Right? So 89 is prime or not? 89 is prime. Right? So 289-89 is the possible case, right? So it can be an isosceles triangle, it is correct. Everybody okay, right? Now read for scalene, I mean think for scalene also. So 2 and uh, any two prime numbers whose sum is 178 degree. So, any two prime numbers whose sum is 178 degree. Okay. So, this is uh, 3, 7, 171, 171 is the multiple of 19, right? Then 11, 11 is 167. No. Then, just wait guys, 11, then 29. 29. And 149, 
29 is a prime number. 149 is also a prime number, guys. Right? Done? Okay. Question is saying it can be an escalene triangle. So, yes, it can be an escalene triangle. In one case, it is possible. Right? That's it. So, obviously, the first case is not correct. The first case is saying such type of triangle is not possible. So, obviously, it is not correct. Right? Correct, guys? So, what is the right choice? B. Right? It is 2 and 3 only. Okay. Done, everybody? Right? It's a good question. Right? This is totally exam material question, guys. Asakta exam. Bilkul asakta. Right? <laughs> Shall you move, guys? Right? Okay. Alright. Now, friends, move to the next question. Yes. Ye question tha number system ka. <laughs> yes, everyone. Read the question. Question says, how many three digit natural numbers n are there such that the sum of digits of n and n plus 1 each divisible by 8? Everyone. Have you read this question? Yes, yes, yes. Read this question. How many three digit natural numbers n are there such that the sum of digits of n and n plus 1 each is divisible by 8? Guys, you know what? I'll tell you, everyone. It is actually based on an observation. Right? It is based on as an observation. The observation is this. A number which is ending with 9. Right, a number which is ending with 9. Right, and uh, the consecutive of that number would be ending with 0, obviously. I mean, the next of that number would be ending with 0. So, if you talk about the sum of the digits of those two numbers, it will be different by 8. I repeat, if you think about a number which is ending with 9 and next to it, if you talk about the sum of the digits of those numbers, it will be it will be like uh, it will be uh, 9 less than that number actually. Let me show you the number. For example, guys, 0, 9, it's, 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 it's a single digit number. 10 is what? 10 is 2 digit number and then 19. So, here sum of digit is what? 9. Here sum of digit is 1. It is 8 less than this. Here sum of digit is 10. Here sum of digit is 2. It is 8 less than this. Now, 29. 11, 30, 3. It is 8 less than this. Guys, yes or no? Right. Now, everyone, you clear who you Right. Now, the, read the question. The question is saying n and n plus 1, the sum of digits of both of them will be divisible by 8. It means what? Now, just tell me. Zero, and the sum of their digits would be what? The first number, I mean, the sum of that first number would be sixteen, and the sum of the second number would be eight, because sixteen minus eight is eight. Getting it, everyone? So here, let me show you the numbers. May this example could remove? Karu, I just want to remove this example. Clear? But I don't Right. See, all of you, mm, can you suggest me a number whose sum of digit is 16 and it is ending with 9? Whose sum of digit is 16 and it is ended with 9? Oh, oh. 5, 22. Are you? 9 plus what is 16? 9 plus 7, seven. right? So 169. Clear? Question is saying how many three digit number? Right? Clear everybody? Sum of digits are 8, I mean 8 and 16. Clear? Then 259, 
सी वी नीड टू मेक दिस सम एस सेवन आई मीन द फर्स्ट टू डिजिट्स का सम है एस सेवन वी नीड टू मेंटेन राइट दिस इज टू प्लस फाइव एंड दिस विल बी इंक्रीज बाय वन सो दिस विल बी डिक्रीज बाय वन ये सो नो वन टू थ्री सिक्स फाइव फोर जस्ट क्लियर ओके फोर थ्री फाइव टू सिक्स वन ये सो नो राइट नाइन 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 ओके यस गाइस एंड वन मोर नंबर इज सेवन जीरो नाइन एंड इट इज सेवन हंड्रेड टेन राइट गाइस यस और नो अच्छा सो दीज आर द नंबर्स एनी अदर नंबर्स सो गाइस हियर द सम वाज सिक्सटीन राइट नो लेट्स टेक द सम एस ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर मींस व्हाट the third place will be 9 i mean the units place will be 9 and the first and second would be 16 right so 9 9 and hmm 7 6 rukiya chu 9 8 7 7 right and then Eight, seven, nine, and then nine, six, nine. Huh? Everyone, yes or no? Right. I think three more numbers. Just count them, guys. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are seven numbers, and these are three more. What is the answer? Ten is the maximum option here. Ten is the answer. so this question was actually a thoughtful question you need to think a lot for this question but yes you should be knowing this property also right so main sirf aap se yahi kehna cha raha hu ki question padhte hi agar aapko uska essence clear ho raha hai ki this question is based on this property right then only go for that question else you won't be able to solve this question if you like trying it by hidden trial only right ha huh. अदरवाइज हो सकता है आप एग्जाम में ये भी ट्राई करते आपको पता होना चाहिए कि लाइक बियॉन्ड ट्वेंटी सेवन यू के नॉट गो राइट ओके इट्स फाइन इट्स फाइन गाइज इट इज क्लियर राइट ओके सो लुक एट द क्वेश्चन गाइज नो राइट हाउ स्मार्ट द क्वेश्चन आर एंड हाउ स्मार्ट द सोल्यूशन एज वेल राइट यूपीएस सीरी कमांडेड हाउ नो दिस इज एज स्मार्ट एज यू गाइज आर यू नो Anyways, so guys, shall we move to the next question? Oh, huh? the next question is everybody. The next question is a two-digit number AB is inserted between its own digits to make it a four-digit number AB AB. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, everyone. A two-digit number AB is inserted between its own digit to make it a four-digit number. A B A B sorry A A B B I'm I'm sorry A A B B A A B B okay which is seventy seven times the original number what is the sum of the digits of the original number A plus B guys it's a very good question very smart question and a very good question right so friends when you saw this number A A B B. It is a four-digit number. What is the first thought that is coming to your mind after seeing this number? Okay, tell me. Yes, when did you see this number? Yes, very good. This number is divisible by eleven. See, A A B B, right? The sum of alternate numbers is a plus b, a plus b. So difference between a plus b and a plus b is zero, right? So this number is the multiple of eleven. Very nice. Okay, everyone. 
So as soon as you solve a number, you just think that the given number is the multiple of 11. Right everybody? No friends, the rest is given in the question. If this thing is clicked to you, the question is very simple. Rest is given in the question only, right? The question says, which is 77 times the original number? So guys, this is what? This is 77 into AB, yes or no? Question is saying 77 into AB is equal to AABB, right? And since this is the multiple of 11, so divide this number by 11 and try to check it is which multiple of 11, right? Everybody clear? So divide this number, let's say uh, we, we have 4, 5, I mean 4, 4, 5, 5, correct? So divide this number by 11. So 4, 0, 5, correct? So this is actually what? This is actually 11 into A, 0, B. Guys, yes or no? Correct? Fine. After that, the question is trying to say you, 77 into AB is equal to 11 into A, 0, B. So everyone, this is what? This is 7. So 7 times AB is equal to A, 0, B. Friends, it is clear? This is the condition. Now guys, 7 into something, 7 into something is giving you the unit digit at that number only. So 7 into 5 is 35. Right? So obviously now you need to check A. B is 5, that is for sure. Now you have to check A. So start A ko first number, se start 15. 15 into 7 is what? 105. Satisfying the condition? 7 into 15 is 105. Satisfying the condition? Right? So just try to understand, 7 into something is giving the same unit digit, it means B has to be 5. If B is 5, then let's take A as 1, 2, 3 and so on. Right? Clear? That's it. Right? So here, AB is what? AB is 15. Right? Clear? So what is the answer? Six. The answer is 6. Right? It's a good question. Right? A simple one, right? <laughs> no comments? Freedom, aap bataye, kaisa lag question? Simple lag Abhi kaisa lag Okay, ye aapko click karna chahiye. Agar ye nahi hua click, to is question ko mat So obviously 7 into something is giving you the same unit digit. So 7 into 5. How did you I mean, uh, concluded it? No, no, multiplying 5 with the even number will give you 0 as the unit. Yes, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, unit digit is like B. Ah, okay, okay. B is certainly 5. B is definitely 5. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So it got masked and then. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Yes, everybody clear, but this is the right approach. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, guys, it is clear now, right? Okay, shall you move? Huh? Okay, shall you? Okay, again, reading comprehension questions, guys. So, uh, I'm very poor at it. <laughs> Why? Nahi pada yaar aur kya? Yes, everyone. No, friends, this is the question, right? Look at the smartness of the question here. Yes. Question is saying a two digit number, sorry, CS 
CSAT plus CSA and CS are four digit number, three digit number and two digit numbers respectively, where CSAT are distinct digit such that CSAT plus CSA plus CS is equal to 2024. The value of C plus S plus A plus T. Guys, could you solve this question in the examination? No. No? Kiya ho gaya? Okay. So, guys, how you will approach this type of question? Ye uh, Anshika, your name is Anshika, right? Poonam, okay. So, Poonam, what have you done? Okay, yes. See everyone, CSAT plus CSA plus CS. All of you. See, all of you, let me tell you. Here, here actually CS00 plus CS0 plus CS, right? Because we need to add AT and A. Getting it everyone? Here, if this is the combination guys, just, just think on it. C, C can't be more than 2 actually. C has to be 1 only. Why? Because if, if we consider C as 2 or 3 or 4, whatever. So, the sum will be exceeding 2024. Right? So, C has to be 1, yes or no? Right? And CS, now think about CS. CS, I mean this number can be, I mean this can't be 1500 guys. Because 1500 plus 150 plus 15. This is what? What is this? So, this can't be 16, 1500, 1600. It might be 1800 or 1700 or 1900. Think on it. Right? It might be 1800, 1600 or 1900. Guys, yes or no? And let's check it for 1800, guys. Right? Let's check it for 1800. 1800, 180, and 80. What is the sum? It is 191. 1998, I'm sorry. Right? So, guys, 1998. So, just think on it, everyone. Here, C. C sat. Right? <coughs> if we talk about C as 0, 0 plus 10A plus T. Yes or no, everyone? This number will be what? This number will be CS00. So, first of all, just think on it. Suppose that number is 5289, right? So, 5289 is what? 5200 plus 80 plus 9. Yes or no? Right. So, here CSAT, I have written CS00 plus 10 times A plus T. Guys, okay. Similarly, CSA. CSA will be, oh, sorry. <laughs> CSA will be. Guys, CSA will be CS0 plus A, right? And CS. Everyone okay? So, this I am getting 1998. 1998 plus 10A plus, sorry, 11A, I am sorry. 11A plus T, which is 2024. Correct, everyone? So, 1998 will go there and it will be subtracted. So, we will be getting 26. 11a plus t is equal to 26, right? 11a plus t is equal to 26. So, definitely a is 1 and t is 4, right? So, c s a t. No, a is 2, I am sorry guys, a is 2, a is 2, not 1. I am sorry, I am sorry, a is 2. So, this is 1, this is 8, this is 2 and this is 4. Right, what is the sum? 15. Huh? What is the sum of the digits? Mm, 15 guys. Yeah. Right.
ये किया था आप लोगों ने हम्म किसने किया था सही था आप लोगों को गुड बट आ गया तो चलिए अच्छी बात है अच्छी बात है इट्स गुड बट यस द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट शुड बी क्लिक टू यू इज सी हैज टू बी वन एंड इट इज क्लोज टू एटीन हंड्रेड और नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सम राइट क्लियर दिस हैज टू बी क्लिक हाँ वन मिनट नहीं ये मैंने एक एग्जाम्पल दिया था क्या सी एस को मैं वन फाइव ले सकता हूं सो सी एस को आप वन फाइव नहीं ले सकते बिकॉज इट विल बी टू शॉर्ट राइट ओके सो यू नीड टू कंसिडर इट एज एटीन हंड्रेड और सेवनटीन हंड्रेड और नाइनटीन हंड्रेड समथिंग राइट गाइज इट इज करेक्ट ओके राइट सो ये हमने ढूंढे नहीं है <laughs> अब आप एक बात आई है सी सेट आपको सी सेट एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आपको ढूंढना तो मतलब मिल मिलेगा तो है नहीं कहीं पे यू नीड टू थिंक ऑन इट एक्चुअली यू नीड टू थिंक ऑन इट गाइज यू हैव टू बी क्रिएटिव इनफ यू नो टू क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एनी वेज सो शैल यू मूव हाँ ओके Now, friends, can you tell me like this question is based upon which concept? Very good. This question is based upon reverse ratio. Those who have studied from me, they must be knowing it, right? So, if it is being claimed that this question is based upon reverse ratio, then you will hardly take thirty to forty seconds and solve this question, right? Let me tell you what. The question is saying. Uh, Preetu and Archie. Okay, Preetu and Archie had rupees one forty four together. Preetu spent eighty percent of his amount, while Archie spent seventy five percent of her amount. After this, both had equal amounts. Consider the following statements. See, guys, question is saying what? Their savings are same, right? Question is saying their savings are same after their expenditure. So, Preetu, I mean the saving of Preetu is what? Huh? Saving of Preetu is twenty percent of his uh, initial wealth, and saving of Archie is twenty-five percent of her initial wealth actually. So, twenty percent of Preetu is equal to twenty-five percent of Archie. Right? Yes or no? So, then their shares must be in the reverse order. Sorry, twenty-five is to twenty. Right. So this is five is to four, guys. Right. So their initial shares must be in the ratio five is to four. That's it. Right. So initially they had one forty-four rupees. One forty-four will be divided in the ratio of five is to four. That's it. Right. So one forty-four will be divided in the ratio of five is to four. So this is what uh, nine sixteen sixteen into five is eighty. Sixteen into four is sixty-four. Guys, this is the answer. Eighteen and eighteen and sixty-four, right? Okay. Every, huh? अभी देख लेते हैं. So guys, uh, the first statement, the initial difference in their amount, initial difference is sixteen rupees, so it is not correct. And Preetu had forty-eight initially. No, he has eighty rupees initially. Both are not correct. Yeah, both are incorrect. मतलब. Yeah. Guys, getting it? So, if you know the concept well, then this question will hardly take thirty to forty seconds or fifty seconds. That's it, not more than that, right? Okay, clear, everyone, right? Okay, shall we move? All right, shall you? After that, yes, guys. <laughs> what is the question a number n is found by writing 1 for 77 times what is the remainder when n is divided by 77 what should be the approach guys i mean triplets let us find good very good very good guys very good i really impressed with this approach <laughs> See guys, one 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 is written what? Seventy-seven times, right? Clear? 
Now guys, just think on it. 77 times. 77 minus 5, agar hum kar So what we will get? 72. <laughs> right. Actually, if a number is being divided by 77, I mean if a number is divisible by 77, then we will have the triplets like this. So difference, I mean difference between the alternate triplets is always 0. It is like this. Right. So guys, here, I am just taking last 5 numbers as a different number. So here, how many triplets will be there? 24. 24? Because total 72 times, 1 will be written here. And then 5 we have taken separately. Right? So guys, if we have 72, means 24 triplets here. So guys, for 24 triplets, if we take the like alternate pairs, then obviously 12 and 12, this will become 0. Right? So only the remainder of effective these numbers will be the final answer. Right? And here, here, let's do like this. This is 11. Sorry, this is 11. This is 111. What is the difference? 100. So 100 divided by 77 is the final answer. So 22, right? So guys, if you know the concept, then only attempt this question in the examination hall. Else, you will do anything. And there will be nothing. There will be nothing. Right? Okay? All right. Guys, it is clear? Right? Okay. Shall we move? All right. Shall you? Guys, clear? Everybody? Tushar, aapka ho gaya? Manvin? Kar liya ta aapne exam mein wala question? BYG question credit le BYG question Yes, everyone. Now, question number 18. Question says for two non negative real number. Guys, what is non negative real number? When the question says non negative, what is the meaning of that? If the question says non negative, why the question is not saying positive directly? Question wants you to consider 0 as well. Dhyan rakhye guys. You have to respect each and every word guys. Right? So, for two non negative real numbers, the question wants you to consider 0 as well. Right? For two non negative real numbers, A and B, is A plus B greater than AB? The question is, the question is, is A plus B greater than AB? Okay, everyone. Right. After that, the first statement, statement number one, A equal to B. Guys, if we have A equal to B, then A plus B will be always 2A and A square, I mean, AB will be always A square. Right. Clear? So now friends, here we have the contradictions act. Let me tell you why. Suppose that if we have considered A as 2 and B as 2, right? So the thing is A plus B is also 4 and AB is also 4. So they need to be, I mean, they are not, I mean, A plus B is not greater than AB this time. This time A plus B is equal to AB if we have considered both the numbers as 2. Right? Clear? Okay. Or, if we have considered both the numbers as 3, so 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 is less than 3 square which is 9. So guys, it can be either greater than or less than, sorry, it can be either equal to or less than. 0 is also, give you 0, 0, both the sides. If you have 0, 0, then 0 equal to 0. If you take A as 0, B as 0, then you will get equal. A equal to B condition diya on a first statement dekhi na pehle. You need to consider A equal to B. Right? Guys, clear? So, if, 
वन के केस में वही आ जाएगा ना वन इक्वल टू वन ये ये यही होगी ना एक्चुअली इक्वल टू आएगा ना सो गाइस फॉर स्टेटमेंट नंबर वन वी कैन हैव द रिलेशन आइडर इक्वल टू और लेस देन राइट बट वी कैन गेट अ यूनिक रिलेशनशिप क्लियर सो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट वी कैन टेल यू इज ए प्लस बी ग्रेटर देन ए बी वी कैन नॉट आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्टेटमेंट नंबर वन अलोन Guys, getting it or not? Right. Now come to statement number two. Guys, statement number two. Read the statement. Okay. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? A plus B is greater than A square plus B square. Is it possible? Is it possible? Okay. Is it possible? No. No. What's your name? Akansha Negi. Okay. This Akansha, it is possible. Okay. Guys, initially I told you that you have to respect each and every one in the question. The question is saying they are two non-negative real numbers. Guys, real numbers again. The real numbers. What is real number? Real number is what? It can be fraction also, guys. Right. So if I take one number as one by three and the number as one by four, then their squares will be one by nine and one by sixteen. So a square of a fraction is always lesser than the original number. Right. A square of a fraction is always lesser than the original number, guys. Right. So in this situation, in this situation, a plus b greater than a square plus b square. Yes or no? ठीक है. Clear, guys. देखिए इतने basics में जाके वो आपको परेशान कर देगा वहाँ पे. समझ गए? और आप protest भी नहीं कर पाएंगे. राइट ऑब्वियसली आप नहीं कह सकते कि ये बैकग्राउंड नहीं है आपका ये आपको नहीं पता फ्रैक्शन तो पता है ना आपको आंसर पे आते हैं फिर राइट अब आपको अच्छा लग रहा है ना जब आपको दिखाया गया उस तरह से कल तक नहीं समझ में आया था आपको कि अच्छा है कि नहीं हाँ ये सर फ्रेंड क्लियर नाउ नाउ फ्रेंड्स इफ We have this relation. I mean, statement number two. Statement number two is trying to say you A and B are fractions. Clear? Statement number two is trying to say you A and B are fractions. Now, if A and B are fractions, then can we have A plus B greater than A into B? Hmm? कर लीजिए आप आराम से कर लीजिए सोच लीजिए आराम से गाइस ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन डोंट फॉरगेट ट्राई टू सॉल्व ट्राई टू सॉल्व हो गया देखिए आप नंबर एक ले लीजिए वन बाई थ्री वन बाई फोर कंसीडर कर लीजिए राइट सो ए प्लस बी इज सेवन बाई ट्वेल्व ए इन टू बी इज वॉट वन बाई ट्वेल्व ऑब्वियसली राइट गॉट मैस्ट And for every fraction, it will be matched. मुझे बताइए अब आप यहां पर वन नहीं कंसिडर कर सकते यू कैंट कंसिडर वन यू कैंट कंसिडर जीरो वाई बिकॉज वन स्क्वायर इज नॉट लेस देन वन एंड जीरो स्क्वायर इज नॉट लेस देन जीरो सो यू कैंट कंसिडर वन यू कैंट कंसिडर जीरो राइट Answer B. Yes. <clears throat> Clear? It's a good question. It's a very good question, guys. Shall I move now? 
plutôt. Ok, très bien. Ok. Yes. Guys, this question belongs to permutation and combination, right? This, I think, uh, this type of question we have solved in the class, right? The answer was 20. <laughs> the answer was 20. Okay. See, the thing is, the question is saying, how many four-digit numbers are possible which are less than 3000? So, obviously, it will be started with two. So, for the first place, we have one choice and then three, then three, and then three. So this is 27, right? And the numbers which are not possible will be excluded from this list of 27 numbers, right? So the first number is 2, 2, 2, 2, 4 times 2. And the second number is 2, 2, 2, 3. And then 2, 2, 3, 2. And then 2, 3, 2, 2. And then 2, 2, 2, 4. 2, 2, 4, 2. And then 2, 4, double. Right? Right? So these seven numbers are not possible. So 27 minus 7, this is 20. Okay, guys, the answer is 20. Right? Okay. This we have discussed already in the class, so that's why I'm not giving you much time in this question. Right? The answer is 20. But by the way, this is a very good question. Again, a very good question. Yes, shall we move? How? Wow. Okay. What are we saying? Shall you zero? Now, guys, the next question. The number of three English letter words having at least one consonant but not having two consecutive consonants. Having at least one consonant but not having two consecutive consonants. Guys, at least one consonant means one consonant two consonant and three consonant, right? But the question is saying not having two consecutive consonants, so this case is gone, right? So one consonant means C, B, 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 C, B and B, B, C, right? One consonant. So either this or this or this. Two consonant because two consecutive Consonant are not there, so obviously V has to be in between, and this is CC. Guys, it is clear? Right, read the condition of the question. Option C. Option C. So, guys, here, this is what this is 21 consonants are there, right? 21, 21, 5 vowels are there. So this is 441 into 5, this will be double 205. And guys, V, V, C, right? We'll do 1, we'll multiply it by, with 3, right? Because we need to add them, no? So this is 5, this is 5, and this is 21. So 21 into 5 into 5, 21 into 25, this is 525. And this is what? Plus, 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 so 3 times. 525 into 3. So this will be 1525, right? 1575, sorry. 1575 plus double 205. Right. 3780, correct. Yes, guys, it was 3780. Right. Guys, clear? Friends, any doubt? Any confusion? No? None? Okay. Shall you move, guys? Shall you? Let's come to the next question. Karre apple of you? Okay, 21 to 24 are uh, RC questions, so take care. How X is related to Y? Guys, these are the questions of blood relation. In blood relation question, you don't have to assume the gender, right? Gender, like until unless it has been said in the question, you can never assume the gender of the question from your end, right? Okay, because 
नेम के हिसाब से आप जेंडर डिसाइड मत कर लीजिएगा वहां पर गड़बड़ हो जाएगा ठीक है बिकॉज पुष्पा वॉज अ मेल कैरेक्टर इन अ मूवी राइट एनीवेज सो गाइस द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग हाउ एक्स इज रिलेटेड टू वाई हाउ एक्स इज रिलेटेड टू वाई फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट जेड हु हैज ओनली टू किड्स एक्स एंड वाई जेड हु हैज ओनली टू किड्स एक्स एंड वाई is the mother in law of w z is the mother in law z is female z is the mother in law of w w kahan pe hai mujhe nahi pata but w is the sister in law of y w is the sister in law w is female w is the sister in law of y it means w is the husband of sorry w is the wife of x right so these are husband wife guys right so it means x is brother of y but who is y we don't know x is brother of y question is saying how x is related to y so definitely x is brother of y y may be sister of x also we don't know right but x is brother of y so from statement number 1 alone we can solve this question now come to statement number 2 alone that is clear from statement number 1 alone we can solve this question come to statement number 2 alone ओके स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू अलोन ए द सिस्टर इन लॉ ऑफ एक्स इट मीन दे मस्ट मीन द सेम जनरेशन ए द सिस्टर इन लॉ ऑफ एक्स ए इज फीमेल ए इज द सिस्टर इन लॉ ऑफ एक्स इज द डॉटर इन लॉ ऑफ बी ए इज द डॉटर इन लॉ ऑफ बी ओके बी हु हैज टू किड्स एक्स एंड वाई ओके बी हैज टू किड्स एक्स एंड वाई okay a is the sister in law of x guys here a is the sister in law of x it means a is the wife of y right and a is the wife of y means y is male but we cannot define the gender of x question is saying how x is related to y so x may be brother or may be sister of y so from this statement alone we can't answer this question right that right, is clear because the gender cannot be decided fine so here the answer is only statement number 1 a option here right guys any doubt clear okay fine theek hai chaliye Question number twenty-six. Shall I remove this? Question number twenty-six. How many children does A have? ठीक है. Statement number one. B is the only daughter of C. B is the only daughter means female. B is the only daughter of C. Sorry. B is the only daughter of C. B is the only daughter of C. Who is the wife of A? C is the wife of A. Okay. So A and C are spouse, and their daughter is F. So first question is saying how many children does A have? Guys, look here. Here the question is saying only daughter, right? When the question says only daughter or only son, right? Then number of kids you cannot define. If the question says the only child. then you can say like they have only one child right so only daughter theek hai ho sakta hai uske matlab matlab boys bhi hote kuch son bhi hote i mean right theek hai so from this statement alone you can't answer this question guys correct theek hai right okay from statement number 2 Statement number two says D and E are brothers of A. Statement number two alone is not giving you any clue, right? And now even if you club them, then also you're not getting any clue about the number of childs of number of children of A, right? Clear? So this question cannot be answered even by using both the statements. Both the statements together are not sufficient to find the answer, guys. Yes or no? ठीक है ठीक है ऑल राइट 
Okay. Now, question number 27. Only daughter, only daughter is not the only child. Suppose that your parents have, let's say, uh, let's say you guys are three siblings. Out of that, two are boys and one is girl. Right? So your sister will be the only daughter of your parents. But she is not the only child of your parents. Clear? Okay. What is this? Just read that. Vasudevan, Shankaran, Anirudh, and Pradham were the only participants of a chess tournament. Some matches have been played among the players. Exactly two of them played in each of the matches. Okay. None player played with the same player in more than one match. Okay. The question, what is the total number of matches played among the players? Okay. Vasudevan played exactly three matches. Guys, just wait. Let's Write down the given information. Vasudevan. Kya naam inke? Vasudevan. Shankaran. V S P A. A P. Acha thik hai A P. V S A P. Now guys, do one thing. The first statement says, uh, Vasudev played exactly three matches. So do one thing. Let's say Vasudevan is playing three matches. Guys, okay? Go. Right. Like first he played with S, then with A, then with P. Clear? The second statement, Anirudh and Shankaran played exactly one and two matches. Guys, Anirudh. When Vasudevan is playing with Anirudh, so Anirudh has played one match. Right? I'm talking about the second statement alone, right? Because from the first statement alone, you can't answer the question. In the entire tournament, how many matches were played? We don't know. Right? From second statement alone, Anirudh and Shankaran played exactly one and two matches. So, alone usse bhi nahi ho, club karna padega, right? So, when we are clubbing them, Anirudh and Shankaran played exactly one and two matches. Shankaran played exactly two matches. Guys, if Anirudh is playing exactly one match, so it means Anirudh played with Vijayan, yeah, Vasudevan Jobian. Shankaran is playing two matches, so it means Shankaran must be playing with Radhu. Right. Now, guys, just with this combination, read both the conditions. All are satisfied. Read both the conditions. Right. Now, question is, how many total matches were played in the tournament? Four matches, guys. One, two, three, four. Right. So, the question can be answered using both the statements together. Right? Read the options. Which option is the right choice, guys? C. Yes. C is the correct choice. Okay, everybody? Right? Okay. It's a good question. Actually, good question. Yep. Now, question number 28. Shall you move, guys? Question number 28 was was what? Simple one. <coughs> Ashwat, Balram, and Charu. <laughs> Ashwat, Balram and Charu competed in the same weight lifting tournament and one of them won. Okay. It is also known that the weight lifted by Charu was the average weight lifted by Ashwat and Balram. Guys, C is lying between A and B. Yes or no? Right. Now we don't know like who is the minimum and who is the maximum. But C is lying exactly in between because it is the average. Right. Okay. Now, the first statement, 
weight lifted by ashwath plus weight lifted by charu uh, is 210 kg by the way what is the question acha who is the winner this is the question mr chairman right so the first statement the weight lifted by ashwath plus the weight lifted by charu is 210 you can't find the answer winner pusha hai na winner can't tell so from first statement alone can't be answer second statement weight lifted by charu is 40 kg more than the weight of ashwath guys ho jayega देखिए इससे आपको यह पता चला कि चारू इज मोर देन अश्वत्थ राइट एंड ऑब्वियसली चारू इज लाइंग एग्जैक्टली बिटवीन सो ऑब्वियसली बलराम विल बी मोर देन चारू राइट बोथ क्यू सेकेंड अलोन ना वो तो क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट से पता चल रहा है मतलब जो डायरेक्शन दिया हुआ है आपको क्वेश्चन का डायरेक्शन दिया हुआ है डायरेक्शन स्टेटमेंट राइट सो डायरेक्शन इट्स स्टेटमेंट से आपको पता चल रहा है कि द सी इज द एवरेज क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट इज लाइक हु इज द विनर ओनली उससे कुछ नहीं पता चल रहा है सो सेकंड अलोन अब बताइए इसमें आंसर क्या लगाएंगे आप ए बी सी डी ए बी सी डी मुझे बताइए पहले टू अलोन है ही नहीं उसमें उसको देखिए पहले पढ़िए पहले ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन गाइज ध्यान रखिएगा ये ये ना ये ऑप्शन भी बदले हुए मैंने आप देख रहे हैं राइट देखिए पहले उसको न्यू वैल्यू क्यों निकालनी है आपको आपको विनर बताना है ना हाँ मुझे पता था मुझे पता था राइट लाइक वैल्यू इज नॉट नीडेड हु इज द विनर डाट्स इट डाट्स इट द विनर इज बी जो डायरेक्शन स्टेटमेंट है क्या ठीक है तो उससे क्या पता है हाँ वो तो नहीं पता है ना वो तो जब सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट पढ़ा तभी समझ में आया राइट इट इज क्लियर सी इज ग्रेटर देन ए अच्छा सॉरी यार मैंने उल्टा लिख लिया आई एम सॉरी आई एम सॉरी C is greater than A and greater than B. ये है कंडीशन राइट गाइज आई एम सॉरी फिर भाई अरे यार रुक जाइए रुक जाइए C greater than A and greater than B. This is the condition, guys. हाउ क्लियर मानवीन इट्स फाइन नाउ सॉरी आई एम रियली सॉरी Yes, everybody, clear now. ठीक है ओके चलिए क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन शैल बी रिमूव दिस गाइस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन गाइज रीड दिस क्वेश्चन रीड दिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द टू स्टेटमेंट एंड द क्वेश्चन रीड देम केयरफुली चूज विच वन वन आर नेसेसरी टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट What will be the value of a three-digit number which is divisible by seven and has the unit digit as three? This is the question. Question saying, what is the value of a three-digit number which is divisible by seven and has the unit digit as three? Right. Statement number one: the three-digit number is divisible by nine. Everyone, मुझे एक बात बताइए. Question statement is saying. What will be the value of a three-digit number which is divisible by seven, right? Which is divisible by seven, and the first statement is saying the number is divisible by nine. It means nine into seven, which is sixty-three, right? Guys, just think on it. A number which is divisible by sixty-three, and question statement is saying which has the unit digit as three, right? A number which is divisible by sixty-three has the unit digit as three, right? It means what? Look here. Sixty-three into one, sixty-three into eleven, sixty-three into twenty-one, right? All these will be a three-digit number that will give you three as the unit. Yes or no? Clear? I mean, this won't be a three-digit number. It will be a two-digit number. 
it will be a two digit number this will be a three digit number this will be a three digit number right clear 63 into 11 11 se multiply karne ka kya rule hota hai 693 693 right so i think this will be the answer because because the number is divisible by 9 bhi to bola hai na so sum of digits must be divisible by 9 also right and this will be actually more than 1200 right this will be more than 1200 because 60 into 20 is what 1200 so 63 into 20 will be what 1260 something right this will be more than i mean this will be a four digit number actually mota mota right so this won't be the answer this is the only possibility statement number one a three digit number is divisible by nine from this statement alone we can find the answer right statement number two the three digit number is divisible by 21 guys ye galat uska reason bata do the number is divisible by seven right a number is divisible by seven and yahan pe wo keh rahe the number is divisible by nine to koi number agar seven ka multiple hai nine ka multiple hai to 63 ka multiple hai 63 ka hoga to 21 ka obviously hoga so this is the subset of this statement only from this statement alone you can find the answer Three forty three. क्या है? Nine का multiple नहीं है वो। So मैं वही कह रहा हूँ कि इससे answer आ जाएगा कुछ और। Twenty one का multiple ऐसा कुछ और निकल सकता है। Yes, you may find like three forty three is the multiple of twenty one. It's a three digit number ending with three. Right? It's a three digit number ending with three and the multiple of twenty one also. इधर क्यों होगा? मैं वही तो कह रहा हूँ आइडर क्यों होगा? अच्छा सोचिए एक बार और सोचिए मुझे एक बात बताइए गाइस व्हाट अबाउट दिस नंबर How? This is 21 ka multiple hai. Right? Hey? This number is the multiple of 21. Right? And this number is ending with 3 also. Right? But this number is not a multiple of 9. Right? Okay. I will tell you one number. 483. From second statement, guys, from second statement, I am not getting a unique answer. From second statement, I am not getting a unique answer. Like 483. Now, this number is what? This number is the multiple of 21. This number is ending with 3. This is a 3 digit number. Like these two numbers I have shown you, they are satisfying all the conditions from the second statement, but actually, the answer is not unique. Question is what? Question is. What will be the value of a three digit number? Right? So we must be getting a unique answer, a unique value. Right? Okay? Alright. Chalye. Question number 30, I liked it very much. Mujhe achha laga. And uh, question number 30, I aapko bata deta hu. Mene, uh, <laughs> मैंने कुछ लास्ट वाले का लास्ट वाले का फर्स्ट अलोन फर्स्ट अलोन द आंसर इज 693 फर्स्ट अलोन राइट 693 फ्रॉम स्टेटमेंट नंबर 1 अलोन यस गाइस फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर 30 गाइस दिस क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली मैंने एक बार एक कैट का कोई पुराना क्वेश्चन देखा था तो मैंने वहां पे uh, ऐसा एक सवाल देखा था so I really liked this question, so I just, I didn't copy this question, I just, <laughs> so I just changed the value and then I, uh, I just given you this question. Question number 30, 
क्वेश्चन इज अ मैन हैज एटी नाइनटी कैंडल्स आफ्टर बर्निंग ही कैन मेक अ न्यू कैंडल फ्रॉम नाइन स्टप्स लेफ्ट बिहाइंड द मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ कैंडल्स दैट कैन बी मेड गाइज वॉट वॉज द आंसर टू थर्टी सिक्स ओके लेट्स चेक गाइज एटीन नाइनटी कैंडल्स आर देयर इनिशियली सो इट इज डिवाइडेड बाई नाइन सो दिस विल गिव यू टू हंड्रेड टेन कैंडल्स राइट सी ओके राइट ये इसीलिए दिया गया था सौम्या कि आप गलत करें राइट यस सो गाइस 1890 कैंडल्स वर बर्न सो ऑब्वियसली वी विल गेट 1890 दिस स्टप्स राइट देन फ्रॉम दोस 1890 स्टप्स डिवाइडेड बाय 9 वी विल गेट 210 न्यू कैंडल्स राइट एंड वी विल बी बर्निंग 210 न्यू कैंडल्स विल गेट 210 स्टप्स राइट देन 210 स्टप्स विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय 9 so guys 207 will be completely divisible by 9 yes or no right so 207 is completely divisible by 9 it means we are left with three candles right so 207 divided by 9 this will be what 23 batai 23 right so 23 new candles plus three candles which are left guys yes or no बोलिए राइट एंड देन विद दीज ट्वेंटी थ्री कैंडल्स वी विल फॉर्म टू न्यू कैंडल्स प्लस फाइव लेफ्ट राइट एंड अब उसके बाद वेन यू बर्न दीज टू कैंडल्स देन यू विल गेट टू स्टप्स राइट एंड देन टू स्टप्स सो गाइस थ्री प्लस फाइव एट एट प्लस टू टेन right so with the help of these i mean left out parts we can have one more candle right <coughs> sorry <coughs> so this is 25 plus 1 uh, 26 26 plus 210 236 <laughs> 236 the correct answer right <laughs> right guys it is 236 207 is still here because 200 ki agar hum 9 se divide karenge so it will be going up to 207 because 207 is the multiple of 9 right so 23 times matlab 23 candles aap bana sakte hain with the help of 210 left outs so tops right and then three new candles are still left correct question is what is the maximum number of candles that can be made राइट right? तो so, जितने भी लेफ्ट आउट स्पार्ट आपके मिलते जाएंगे आप उनको यूज करके बार बार कैंडल बनाते रहेंगे बनाते रहेंगे अब वो बच जाएगा तो बच जाएगा बिकॉज जब तक आप नाइन को नहीं जब तक आपको नाइन अचीव नहीं होगा तब तक आप कैंडल नहीं बना सकते तो फिर उसको फेंक दीजिए <laughs> हाँ देखिए ये जो टू था ना राइट सो थ्री प्लस फाइव प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू टेन राइट देखिए ये कैंडल है बट अब कैंडल है तो है नहीं कैंडल नहीं है स्टप्स है सॉरी स्टप्स है सॉरी कैंडल होते तो तो यहां होते हाँ कैंडल तो पहले आपने बंद कर दिया Yes, everyone, it's clear. Two thirty-six is the final answer. Two hundred ten plus twenty-three plus two plus one. Right? This is two thirty-six. Yes, guys, it is done. Okay, चलिए. After that, now guys, let's do quickly, huh? What time लग रहा है? After that, guys, guys, yes, क्या आंसर होगा इसका? A. A. आंसर है यस एवरी वन यस बोथ स्टेटमेंट ए एंड आर आर ट्यू ट्रू एंड आर इज नॉट द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ ए वाई बिकॉज गाइज सी द थिंग इज 
the first statement is a raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 when a is not equal to 0 it is correct right and then this is also correct but this is not the explanation of this why because if it is a to the power m minus n is equal to a to the power m divided by a to the power n this will be the correct explanation of first one yeah. why because if you want to prove this a to the power 0 is it, it is equal to a to the power m minus a to the power m m minus m can be 0 so this is a to the power m divided by a to the power m and when numerator is same as denominator it is 1 right so guys this is the correct explanation of this so for this it has to be this it should not be this Integers लिखा हुआ है तो आप negative ले सकते What? हाँ, लेकिन हाँ अगर आप yes, yes, मजा आ रहा है Yes, 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 yes. Being integers it is correct. Yeah, and being natural numbers it is not correct. <laughs> so being integers, it is correct. I mean, if you consider, but guys, पता है मैं आपको एक बात बताऊँ. देखिए, देखिए मैं आपको एक बात बताऊँ. एक चीज का ध्यान रखिएगा. अगर लिखा होता है, it may be the correct explanation. Right? मैं आपको एक बात बताऊँ, guys. If they are saying R is the correct explanation of A, then R has to be correct in every case. Right? If they are saying R may be the correct explanation of A. Then this case would be true. <laughs> right. But yes, uh, I think that you should natural numbers. Bhi hona but guys, you should also be careful about this. Right? No, it will not be true. It will not be true. Because in integers, mein it will be always hold good. Right? Because the thing is, it is not the correct explanation. Right, it is correct for some particular case when you are taking n as the negative integer. Right, it is true for a particular case, but it is not true for all the values of integers. Right, okay, so here b is the correct answer. Right, it is not correct. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> अरे अरे मेरे से क्या होगा यार? Anyways चलिए। Shall we move guys to the next question? Okay. After that, 64 identical cubes are arranged in the form of a large cubical block. This block is placed in one corner of a room so as to touch the three walls on three sides of its Three of its sides. How many cubes do not touch any of the wall? Okay. Yes, everyone. What is the answer? B. Eight. Five. मुझे एक बात बताइए. If you are putting it like at this corner, fine. So one, two, three. Three sides will be blocked. Right? Fine. So, uh, obviously one layer from there, one layer from here and one layer from the last. Right? So, this is what? This is n minus 1 to the cube actually. Right? Fine. So, just wait. Why n minus 2? Because the upper one is free now. Right? The upper one is free. Just think on it. Like it is put like this. So the upper one is free. Similarly, the outer one here is free. The outer one there is free. Right? So this is n minus 1 cube. So 4 minus 1 it is 27. Just think on it. Right? Uh, 
you need to think on it actually diagram 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 main nahi banaunga ab you just think on it actually if you put a box like at this corner fine so it will be touching the i mean this wall this wall and the lower one right the upper and the this outer and this outer would be like free fine so how many cubical blocks are not touching any surface so this will be like one from here one from here and one from the bottom right so n minus 1 to the cube right that's it n minus 1 aise kiya jaise maan lijiye ki if this is the let's say if this is the cross sectional suppose that 4 by 4 hai na let's say this is the cross sectional right one man piece please please <laughs> if this is the cross section like kya hai okay so see guys this and this right okay just think on it like every surface will be looking like this right think on it okay clear so this will be 3 3 3 3 3, 3 and then 27 right okay question number 37 is actually a very smart question guys question number 37 i have picked this question from you know what from a science olympiad i mean the maths olympiad question paper right for class 10th students <laughs> <laughs> It's a good question, right? Maths Olympiad. Yes. Read the question, guys. Did you understand the question, guys? Okay. Ritu, what was the question? What is the meaning of the question? कोई बात नहीं यस रितु व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन हैव यू रीड द क्वेश्चन कल ट्राई किया था आपने अच्छा ठीक है व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन जस्ट टेल मी द मीनिंग या हु विल टेल मी द मीनिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन देखिए पर्पस ये है कि आपका आपका हॉस्टल है उस हॉस्टल के रूम्स हैं उन रूम नंबर्स पे मतलब उन रूम्स पे आपको डोर पे एक स्लिप लगानी है नंबर नंबर प्लेट लगानी है मतलब नंबर्स चिपकाने हैं वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट राइट तो फॉर दैट यू नीड सम नंबर्स एक्चुअली राइट वन सो लाइक नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स वन नंबर ऑफ टाइम टू नंबर ऑफ टाइम थ्री ठीक है तो गोविंद वेंट टू मार्केट फॉर दिस पर्पज टू बाई सम नंबर सम स्टीकर्स ऑफ नंबर्स एक्चुअली राइट बट ही वॉज लाइक वेन ही वॉज परचेजिंग द नंबर्स ही थॉट टू सेव मनी so he thought six can be used in the flipped manner as nine so he thought like there is no need to buy nine separately we can use six as nine right so he bought all the digits 20 times 0 20 20 times 1 20 times 2 20 times up to 8 20 times correct so now the question is till which number he can numbers the room okay till which number he can put the room numbers in his hostel guys getting the question right so now friends obviously here six will become a problem for him because number of six are less right theek hai so every time dekhiye zara 6 9 16 26 26 sorry 16 6 uh, 19 i'm sorry 26 29 36 39 46, 49, 56, फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी नाइन फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी नाइन करेक्ट गाइज आफ्टर दैट सिक्सटी सिक्सटी वन सॉरी जस्ट वेट सिक्सटी सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स का डबल इज ट्वेल्व सो टिल हेयर ट्वेल्व 
then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, 12 plus 8, 20, yeah, all are exhausted till 66. So till 66 he can write comfortably, after that 67th, oh yeah, 67 he cannot write, question is what? Then what will be the first number that he cannot form, 67, right guys? These type of questions are also can be asked in the examination, right? Because they also search for class 10th level type of questions, right? <laughs> right, it is clear, okay? Right. Tell it. I really like this question. That's why I thought that it should be <laughs> what is the rough man? Haan, the question ka purpose samaj mein aaya aapko? Sawal samaj mein aaya? Matlab usne 9 purchase nahi kiya. Usne 0 to 8 hi purchase kiya. Chik hai? Haan, ab bol hai. Nahi, wo baat sahi hai aapki. Lekin 20, 20 sticker uske saare ke saare use ho gaya na? अब उसके पास 6 है नहीं तो 67 में 6 अब वो लगाएगा कैसे व्हाट अरे क्वेश्चन तो पढ़ो यार व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट नंबर दैट ही कैन नॉट फॉर्म कहां तक बना पाएगा उसके आगे से बंद होना बनना बंद हो जाएंगे एक्चुअली तो 67 से नंबर बना ही नहीं पाएगा वो राइट ठीक है क्लियर हो गया Okay, चलिए आगे बोलें guys. It's a very good question, यार, smart question, right? Okay, चलिए आगे बोलिए दोनों. Yes, guys, it is again a good question. Yeah, very good question. नहीं, जो मुझे अच्छा लगा मैंने डाल दिया. Yes. Question is saying, though though it is an easy question also, right? Question is saying A B C is multiplied with by 6 and the resulting number is a 3 digit number with the same digit C C C right see all of you aapko agar ye nahi pata hai to please isko likh lijiyega apni copy pe if you don't know this right sorry C C C right see guys what you can say about C What you can say about C? C, all of you. Yes, very good. 6 is the only digit which when multiplied with an even digit will give you the same unit digit. 6 into 0 will give you 0. 6 into 2 will give you 2. 6 into 4 will give you 4. 6 into 6 will give you 6. 6 into 8 will give you 8. Right? So 6 multiplied with any even digit will give you the same unit digit. Right? So, with respect to C, you can say C must be a unit, oh sorry, must be an even digit. Right everyone? This is another property. It may be utilized in some other question. Right? Yes, C must be an even digit. Correct? Now guys, C cannot be 0 actually. Right? Because even digits are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Correct? Theek hai. Main 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now guys, C cannot be 0 because C, C, C can't be 0, 0, 0. Right? Now friends, just think on it. A, B, C is a 3 digit number. What is the least 3 digit number guys? 100. Right. So, least ABC can be considered as 100. 100 into 6 will be 600. So, this number will be more than 600 actually. Right. So, C cannot be 2, C cannot be 4 and C cannot be 6 also. Why? Because 6, 6, 6, triple 6, triple 6, it has to be triple 1. For triple C is triple 6, 
then obviously ABC has to be triple one, which is not possible because ABC are distinct digits, right? So it has to be only and only eight is the possibility. Correct? So this triple C has to be triple eight, triple eight, triple eight divided by six. This is one forty eight, right? So ABC is one forty eight, guys. <clears throat> right? Okay, everyone. ABC is 148, right? Now tell me what is the answer? Which is the correct choice, guys? A. A plus B plus C is prime. The sum is 13. A plus B into C. B into C kya hai? A into B plus C, I'm sorry, A into B plus C is coming as 12 and this is what? C minus, this is what, 4? 4, this is not a perfect cube, this is not a perfect square. Only one statement, yes, prime number. Clear? Hmm? Clear guys? Okay. Chaliye zara, next. Hatao. Yes, this question we have discussed in the class, I think. What was the answer? 29? Yeah, we could solve this question. This was an easy question, guys. Hatao, you say? Chaliye. Question number 40. 90 is the answer, yes, good. Kaise kiya aap logo ne? आपने 81 कर दिया ओहो 1 actually this question obviously UPSC में last time पूछा गया था मैंने उसको थोड़ा सा twist किया है right see guys this is what this is actually if you multiply I mean if you do 9 square right 9 to the power 2 9 to the power 2 is 81 right fine actually what I want to say is 9 into 9 is 81. So this is sum of the digit is 9. Right. If it has one digit, then sum is 9. Now if it has two digits, 99. Right. So 99 into 99 is 9801. If it has two digits, then sum of digits is coming out to be 9 plus 8 plus 0 plus 1. This is 18, which is 9 into 2. Right, guys? So if these are two digits, then sum is coming out to be 9 into 2. If this is one digit, then sum is coming as 9 into 1. So if they are 10 digits, then sum will be coming as 9 into 10. That is 9. Yeah. Okay. Right? So this type of question, obviously, I have UPSC question say he throws a hint clear, and then I have changed that question. Right? Last year they have asked this question. Right? Clear? Okay? Alright. Let's move to the next question, guys. Yes, round table conference. Two footballers and five cricketers went for an award ceremony where they need to sit around a circular table in how many ways they can sit so that two footballers are never together. What was the answer for this question? See guys, this is a circular thing, right? So two footballers and six cricketers. How many cricketers are Five. Right. Oh, five. But we need to make them sit in a circle, right? So two footballers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total. Total are 6 factorial. Right everyone? And none. None means when they are always together. Right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 2 factorial. Right? So factorial 5 into 2 factorial. When they are always together. This is 240. Right? So factorial 6 is 720. 
माइनस टू फोर्टी दिस विल बी दंसर दंसर इज फोर एटी गाइस सही हो गया ओके ठीक है एंड अगेन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स आई हैव टेकन द रेफरेंस फ्रॉम द लास्ट ईयर ओनली क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स लास्ट ईयर यूपीएससी पेपर राइट गाइस व्हाट वाज द आंसर नाइनटीन आपका ट्वेल्व आ गया अरे यार ये यूपीएससी का क्वेश्चन क्यों छोड़ दिया मतलब यूपीएससी का क्वेश्चन ही थोड़ा सा चेंज करके पूछा गया है देखिए क्वेश्चन इसे देर आर एट पेयर्स ऑफ ब्राउन सो एट ब्राउन सो एट ब्राउन लेफ्ट करा होगा और एट ब्राउन राइट करा होगा ठीक है सो एट ब्राउन इज फ्रॉम लेफ्ट लेग एट ब्राउन इज फ्रॉम राइट लेग हा आफ्टर दैट फाइव ब्लैक सो फाइव ब्लैक so five black from left leg and five black from right leg guys okay so question is saying what is the to ensure that at least one pair of brown shoes are taken out what is the number of shoes required to be drawn out so guys 5 plus 5 plus 8 plus 1 right 1 plus 8 plus 5 plus 5 okay guys so these are 19 ओके पूनम राइट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन आई लास्ट ईयर तो दिस वी हैव टेकन फ्रॉम देयर राइट इसमें कहीं दिमाग नहीं लगाया मैं डन ओके कॉपीड क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली हटाऊं से हां जी Have you read this question? Have you tried this question in the examination? No. छोड़ देंगे ठीक है एक बार ट्राई कर लीजिएगा अगर होता है तो ठीक है नहीं होता है तो मैं करवा दूंगा ठीक है सिंपल क्वेश्चन है वैसे मैंने किया था राइट बट आपको हाँ एक्सप्लेनेशन आपको दिया जाएगा राइट आंसर बता दू अच्छा तो ठीक है मैं सॉल्व ही कर देता हूँ मानवे में लाइक सो क्लेवर एक्चुअली हाँ यस So guys, the question is, uh, the question is there is a machine in which you need to put a four-digit number or a number, right? So the number is adding the same number to the number, but it it ignores the unit digit. Just read the question, right? Suppose that if you put it two thousand twenty-four inside it, it will be like giving you two thousand twenty-four plus two zero two, right? This is the situation. राइट यूनिट डिजिट छोड़ के वो पूरा का पूरा नंबर ऐड कर देते हैं राइट दिस इज द सिचुएशन रीड द क्वेश्चन प्लीज राइट क्लियर हो गया द क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर सो द क्वेश्चन इज द स्मॉलेस्ट थ्री डिजिट नंबर दैट कैन नॉट बी ऑप्टेन्ड एज एन आउटपुट फ्रॉम द मशीन इज वन जीरो नाइन See everyone, the smallest is the key zero. The smallest three-digit number. So guys, just think on it. If you give the input as ninety-nine, think on it. If you give ninety-nine as input, so ninety-nine will be added to which number? Nine. nine. And this will give you one zero eight. So can you form one zero nine? One zero nine cannot be formed. That's it. Right. So the first statement is correct. Right. Clear, everyone. ठीक है. The next question. I mean, the next statement. The greatest three-digit number that cannot be obtained as an output is nine eighty-nine. Guys, what is the greatest three-digit number? Triple nine. so we need to think think about triple 9 triple 9 is 90 acha if 909 will be given as input then output will be what output will be triple 9 so triple 9 can be found as the output actually okay so we need to check for this condition right everyone just check for this condition 989 yes 899 yes 899 चेक कीजिए जरा 899 नाइनटी नाइन प्लस एटी नाइन 
this will be give you 988 978 988 now yes till 988 you can get right 989 nahi hai not possible so 989 is the greatest number which is not possible yes 989 is the greatest number which is not possible because 990 is again possible see if you like give the 900 as input so 900 plus 90 is 990 so 990 is possible but 989 is not possible 988 is also possible so 988 is possible 990 is possible 989 is not possible. good yes. right so uh, here what is the answer both Good. Puna, we got it correct in the examination. Great. <laughs> okay. Shall we move, guys? Huh? Okay. Chali, sir, aage kariye, badhiye, aage badhiye. What is Megha's rank? Ye kar lenge aap log. Ho gaya hai? One and two or two and three. Theek hai, good. ठीक है गुड वेरी गुड देखिए अब कुछ लेंदी क्वेश्चन छोड़ देते हैं कुछ इजी जल्दी जल्दी वाले कर लेते हैं राइट right. <laughs> तो अब लेंदी क्वेश्चन छोड़ देते हैं आंसर बता दूं अभी आप लोगों को मिल जाएगा एक्सप्लेनेशन भी ये कंफ्यूजिंग है इसको करते हैं चलिए कर देते हैं गाइस लेट मी टेल यू दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन केम इन द एग्जामिनेशन लास्ट ईयर Hope you must remember almost the very similar question and the very similar approach. Right, let me tell you. So, in the last year, I mean the last year what they have asked, they have asked about some bag and some ball, something, something, right? So, this time here, uh, mujhe batayye, zara kitne kitne coin hai? One rupee, kya kya hai? One? One rupee, two rupee. Haan. Five rupee. Five rupee. Haan. Twenty. Thik, aap kitna kitna hai? 73, 54, 38, 13, 9. See guys, these are the denominations, right? And these are the number of coins of respective denominations, correct? Right? So just think on it. If you add them, guys, just add them. So 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 8, 18, 18 plus 9, 18 plus 9, 17, uh, 27, 27, then 2. So 7, 5, 12, 12, 3, 15, 15 and 1, 16, 16 to 18. So total number of points are 187. Correct guys? Total number of points are 187. Now, the question is what? Kishori's piggy bank broke and all the coins contained this, this, this fell on the ground. Okay? Consider the following statements. Obviously, if your piggy bank gets down or falls, then the coins will fall. So, obviously, you will be collecting the coins, right? Hey, will you do? So, the first statement is the smallest number of coins that, if picked randomly from the ground, must contain all the coins of at least one denomination. Guys, we are saying that how many coins are taken from the ground? कि कम से कम आप इंश्योर हो जाए कि कोई एक डिनोमिनेशन तो पूरा आ गया है आपके पास राइट एनी वन डिनोमिनेशन इज कंप्लीटली विद यू एनी वन कंप्लीट ग्रुप इज विद यू राइट सो गाइस जस्ट थिंक ऑन इट इफ यू टेक वन कॉइन फ्रॉम दिस वन कॉइन फ्रॉम दिस वन कॉइन फ्रॉम दिस वन फ्रॉम दिस वन फ्रॉम दिस सो टोटल 5 यू नीड टू टेक 187 minus 5 is 182 करेक्ट सो इफ यू कलेक्ट 182 कॉइंस देन इट स्टिल इज नॉट नॉट गारंटीड दैट वन कंप्लीट ग्रुप इज देयर विद यू गाइस यस सो राइट होप यू रिमेंबर द लास्ट इयर्स क्वेश्चन वेरी सेम लॉजिक राइट आई रिपीट वन फ्रॉम दिस 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 सो टोटल -5 इट विल बी एक्चुअली सो टोटल -5 विल बी 182 so if you collect 182 coins from the ground, it's still it is not guaranteed that you have collected one denomination complete. It may be that of 
all the denomination one coin is still there on the ground right so this statement is not getting it everyone correct now the next question the smallest number of coin if picked randomly from the ground must contain at least one coin of each denomination so guys here this number is 9 right so 187 minus 9 is 178 hmm? so when you collect 178 coins from the ground right then it is possible that of one denomination you didn't you didn't collect even a single coin right read the statement to ho sakta 178 hai yahan pe right guys clear so this statement also is not correct punam aapka ye sahi hua tha good <laughs> so neither right uh, neither correct clear okay chaliye zara after that 50 did you comprehension then bheem bheem ha chota bheem ha <laughs> arjun wants bheem to guess a four digit code which uses all the four digits from 1 to 4 okay so bheem says it is 1 2 3 4 and then it is uh, 2143 and then it is 3124 right everybody so bheem guesses these three numbers so arjun responded in all the three attempts exactly two digits were in the right position right so exactly two digits were in the right position so four and one one must be the second right so it can be two one three four right or it can be two three uh, two one sorry three one two four right so just think for this i mean just talk for this first two one three four guys if the correct code is two one three four right so here uh here two numbers are in the right place right here Two one two numbers are in the right place. Yes, and here one four two numbers are in the right place. This is the correct case. Two one three four is the correct answer. Now, what is the question? Middle two digits. Ha, thik hai. Thirteen is the answer. Yeah. Clear, guys? Oh. Okay. Thik hai. Ha, one and four. Yeah, one and four. Okay. Yes, everybody clear? Okay, tell you. After that, question number 54. This question you have done, I think. What was the answer? 30? Uh, this question I think you guys have solved. The answer is 30. Sorry. Right? This is what you have done, this is what you have done. This is a question. Hai. Right. What about this question? The answer is It takes five days for a stream boat to travel from A to B along the river. Guys, when you go along the river, it means it is downstream. Right. And it takes seven days to return from B to A. So it means it is upstream that time. Right. So guys, do one thing. Take the LCM of 7 and 5, which is 35, right, which is 35. So let us assume the distance is 35 km from A to B, <coughs> right. So guys, what will be the speed upstream and what will be the speed downstream? I mean upstream, sorry, it was downstream during the onward journey, right. So this must be 7 km per day right and this must be 5 kilometer per day yes or no 
So what will be the speed of the stream guys? 1 kilometer per day. Why? Actually this is 6 kilometer per day and 1 kilometer per day. Why? Because this is downstream and this is upstream. So D is equal to 7 and U is equal to 5. So B is equal to 7 plus 5 divided by 2. Right? So man's speed in still water will be 6 km per day and the speed of the current is 1 km per day. Because when he is going with the river, then his speed becomes 6 plus 1 which is 7 and when he is going against the river, his speed becomes 6 minus 1 which is 5. Guys, it is clear. Right? Now what is the question? The question is, how many days it will take a raft to drift from A to B? Guys, if you understand a raft, 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 so obviously it will flow with the speed of the river only. Right? If you don't do any external action, it will flow with the speed of the river. What is the speed of the river? 1 km per day. And you need to like go 35 km. So it will take 35 days. Okay. Clear? Nahi wap long ka. <laughs> okay, shall we move guys? How? 55, right? Now 56. My friend Raju. Okay. Who is this? Who is Raju? Who is this? Who is this? इसका मैं देख लेता हूँ। So देखिए, there are three persons, Sita, Geeta and नहीं, Ram, Shyam and Sita, नहीं, Ram, Shyam and Geeta। अच्छा चलिए। देखिए, Ram, Shyam and Geeta, there are three persons. Ram is saying, oh, sorry, oh नहीं। Ram is saying, my friend Raju. Has more than 1000 books. Ram is saying, My friend Raju has more than 1000 books. Right. Uske baat dekhe, oh no. He has less than 1000 books. Ye Shyam bol rahe hai. Hai? Uske baat, well, Raju certainly has at least one book. Ye Gita hai. So, at least one means greater than or equal to one. Right. After that, the question says, if only one of these statements is true, look friends, only one of them is true, rest is false. Right? So, obviously we have to go to the options. So, let's take this option first. If, if Raju has exactly 1000 books, so this statement is false, this statement is false, this is correct. Right? Proof again. Okay? The answer is 1000. गीता नहीं बोल रही ये क्वेश्चन की इनफॉरमेशन है कि उनमें से किसी एक ही बात सही है बाकी सब ठीक है गीता की बात आप क्यों कौन गीता करना चाहते हैं नहीं देखिए आप आपको ना सिर्फ ऑप्शन देखिए और जिस ऑप्शन में दो इनफॉरमेशन सही हो रही हैं सॉरी दो इनफॉरमेशन गलत हो रही हैं एक सही हो रही है डेट विल बी द आंसर राइट देखिए मैं आपको बाकी भी दिखाता हूँ आपके हिसाब से प्रेम 1001 होना चाहिए राइट देखिए 1001 1001 में क्या हो रहा है ये इ Guys, it is clear? Right. Okay. Chali, aage bale, haan? Chali, zara. Right. Yes, everyone, shall we move now?
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कौन सा क्वेश्चन है अंशिका पोजिशन ये कर लिया आप लोगों ने मुझे लगता है वॉट इज दंसर नाइन ये सही है ठीक है अंशिका पोजिशन इज नाइन ठीक है क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट मुझे लगता है वी हैव जस्ट डिस्कस टू डेज बैक वन जीरो एट एट गलत कर दिया आपने ये भी हाँ यस एवरी वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन हाउ मेनी फोर डिजिट यूपीआई पिन आर पॉसिबल प्लीज अच्छा ठीक है मुझे ना ना दी जा रहा है आप लोगों को तुमने उनकी कॉपी देखी थी क्या अच्छा ठीक है देखिए देखिए जरा क्वेश्चन सेज हाउ मेनी फोर डिजिट यूपीआई पिन गाइज यूपीआई पिन का मतलब समझते हैं आप एक पासवर्ड आपको बनाना है सपोज दैट फोर डिजिट का तो आप जीरो 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 भी पासवर्ड बना सकते हैं ये पासवर्ड है ना तो इट कैन बी स्टार्टेड इन जीरो सिंस इट इज अ पासवर्ड सो इट कैन बी स्टार्टेड विथ जीरो सो फॉर ऑल दी प्लेसेज यू हैव टेन चॉइसेस सो टोटल यूपीआई पिन विच आर फोर डिजिट पिन विच आर पॉसिबल इज टेन रेस्ट ऑफ फोर दैट इज टेन थाउजेंड राइट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज सेंग there at least one digit is repeated these are the total at least one means total minus none so none of the given digit is repeated so if none digit is repeated it will be 10987 so 10987 so 987 ka matlab hota hai 5040 so 10000 माइनस फाइव जीरो फोर जीरो मुझे तो लग रहा है फोर नाइन सिक्स जीरो आएगा जबकि मैंने सबसे फर्स्ट ऑप्शन वही दिया है कि सही करो इसको तो आपने ढूंढ के वहां पे भी फोर्थ ऑप्शन मार्क कर दिया ध्यान रखिए जीरो का <laughs> जीरो ने सब जीरो कर दिया आपका अटेम्प्ट ओके गाइस यस चलिए प्रोबेबिलिटी वाला जो है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी ये भी शायद ये बुक का ही क्वेश्चन है नहीं है अच्छा डाउट है देख लीजिए अ मार्क्स मैन हैड फोर सक्सेस इन सिक्स अटेम्प्ट वॉट इज द प्रोबिलिटी दैट ही हैड थ्री कंजिव सक्सेस Guys, एक बात समझिए कितनी सक्सेस है उसकी फोर तो सबसे पहले तो सिक्स अटेम्प्ट किए सिक्स ई फोर ये हो गया सैंपल स्पेस सिक्स ई फोर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स टू राइट क्लियर दिस इज अल स्पेस ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड देन थ्री कंजिव सक्सेस सो एस 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 देन एस एफ एफ राइट क्लियर This is the case that question is asking you. But एक चीज का ध्यान रखिएगा हेयर ये वी हैव थ्री कंजिव सक्सेस दैट इज फाइन बट इफ फोर्थ इज कमिंग आफ्टर दिस देन इट विल बी हैविंग फोर कंजिव सक्सेस राइट सो फ्रॉम थ्री कंजिव सक्सेस वी हैव टू सब्रैक्ट फोर कंजिव सक्सेस क्लियर आई रिपीट सपोज दैट सी द थिंग इज एक्चुअली From 4s and 2f, how many total words are possible? Actually, with the combination of these things, how many total words are possible? This is the question. Actually, but 3s should not be consecutive. No, 3s are consecutive. Yeah, 3s are consecutive. So, guys, if 3s are consecutive, then if fourth one is also s, then there will be four consecutive sentences. So, we need we need to consider that case separately, right? So here. One, two, three, four. So factorial four divided by what? Factorial two. Right. This is twelve. So twelve are the total cases where we have three consecutive success. But in these cases, some cases are there where we have four consecutive success also. 
So we need to subtract four consecutive success from this, right? So subtract four consecutive success from this. <coughs> One, two, three. So factorial three by factorial two, which is what three. So twelve minus three. Twelve minus three is nine. So nine by fifteen is the final answer. Right. This is the answer. Right. Everyone clear? Take back only, guys. Go home. Right. Right. 9 by 15 is the final answer. Okay. Chaliye zara aage bolte hain hum. 63. Haan yaar zyada nahi. Okay, question number 63. What is the circumference of the circle? Okay, just wait. Let me open the question here. Oh, this is reading comprehension. So show you. 63. What is the circumference of the circle? The area of the circle is half the area of the square. So from step number one alone, you can't answer the question, right? Statement number two alone. The ratio of the perimeters of the square and the circle is two is to one. It's seven. You have to get right. From statement number two alone, you can't give the answer. Even if you are merging it together, can you find a fixed value of uh, because the question is saying what is the circumference of the circle it means you need to get a unique value but here if you assume something you will get the you know uh, you need you will get the proportionate value actually right some variable will be there so it won't be a constant value actually it will be a variable value right so this question cannot be solved even using both the statements together right this question cannot be solved guys okay theek hai right kyunki you will assume something like you will assume r or you will assume a something something you will assume so in terms of variable only you will get the answer right okay shall we move chaliye ये आराम से कर लीजिएगा तो लेंदी क्वेश्चन है गाइस <laughs> मुझे बताइए इसका लॉजिक पता है आपको व्हाट इज द लॉजिक फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन हाँ ठीक है वेरी गुड प्लस नहीं इन टू सी ए बी सी प्लस बी सी ए प्लस सी ए बी इज इक्वल टू ट्रिपल वन इन टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी ये पता है आप लोगों को दिस यू नो देखिए देखिए ए बी सी प्लस बी सी ए प्लस सी ए बी राइट दिस इज इक्वल टू ट्रिपल वन इन टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी वाई बिकॉज हंड्रेड ए प्लस टेन बी प्लस सी राइट दिस इज हंड्रेड बी Plus 10c plus a, right? This is 100c plus 10a plus b. Guys, now it is clear, right? So when you add them, so 100 plus 1 plus 10. This is 111a plus 111b plus 111c, right? So their sum will be equal to 111 times a plus b plus c. Everybody clear? And which is given as 1 double d 1. Right. This is given as one d d one. Everybody clear now? Now, friends, just think on it. Either the kids or all of you. This is one. One into something is giving you unit digit as one. Then that something has to be what? Either it has to be one or eleven or twenty one. Because the range of a plus b plus c can be one to twenty seven. Right. So it can be either one or eleven or twenty one. So for one, it is it is not possible because it is a four-digit number, right? So one is ruled out. So let's try for eleven guys, right? So hundred eleven, hundred eleven into eleven. 
So 11 ones are 11, 11 ones are 11, 2, 11 then 12. Very good. So D is coming as 2 and A plus B plus C we have considered as 11. So 11 plus 2 is 13. Right. How did you do that? Magic. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. By the way, it's a good question. Yeah. Okay. Shall we move? Okay. Raju and Lalita originally had marbles in the ratio 4 is to 9. Then Lalita gave some of her marbles to Raju. As a result, the ratio of the number of marbles with Raju to that with Lalita became 5 is to 6. What fraction of her original number of marbles was given by Lalita to Raju? See guys, here in these type of questions, let me tell you one thing. This is 4 is to 9, right? The sum is what? 13. And then this is 5 is to 6. The sum is what? 11. So just try to assume the number as the product of these two numbers so that you will always get the integers. Right? So initially the total number of diamonds were 143. Right? So Raju and Lalita. Yeah, yeah, no. So Raju and Lalita, 143 marbles are there with them. So their sum is what? 13. Right? So 13 5 is 65, 13 6 is 78. So initially they have this number. This square 5 is to 6 will divide because Right? So 5 plus 6 is what? Oh, sorry, 4 plus 9 will divide karne, Sorry. 4 plus 9 will divide karne. We need to divide them by 4 is to 9. So 4 plus 9 is 13. So 13 uh, this 13 will be 11, I know. 11, I know. 11, 4, 11, 9, 99, right? So initial shares were this and final shares were 65 and 78. Guys, yeah, you know, right? They were the initial shares and they are the final shares, right? This is the final and this is initial. So question is what? Question is Lalita gave how many marbles to Raju? So 99 was initially with Lalita and finally she has 78. So it means 21 she has given to Raju. <coughs> right everybody? So this is what fraction? So this is 3 is divisible by the number. Yeah, have any option? Yeah. Guys, it is clear. Right? Okay. Okay, let's move. Chale aage bade After that, how many integers greater than triple nine but not greater than four hundred four thousand can be formed with the digits zero, one, two, three, four if the repetition of digit is allowed? Guys, dekh. Question is talking about a four digit number, a four digit number which is not greater than 4000, right? So a four digit number which is not greater than 4000. So pellet off, you just try to form all four digit numbers. So this is 500 guys, 125 into 4, this is 500, yes or no? No, the number which are greater than 4000. So obviously it will be started with 4, right? So this is 1 and then 5, then 5, then 5. So this is 125. So guys, this will be subtracted from this, but let me tell you friends, this is 375. But here, 4000 can be formed, this we, need, we have subtracted actually, but 4000 is not greater than 4000. So 4000 will be included. Yes. 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 
<laughs> so 376 is the answer. <laughs> okay. Approach is clear. Manu, you have done this. Say you go. Okay. Did you have done this? No. Okay. No problem. Let's go. Yes, guys. Shall you move now? Oh. Huh? One into five into five into five. 125. You subtract to you. So 500 minus 125 becomes 375. 475. 475. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, everybody, clear. Shall we move? Okay. <laughs> Now guys, uh, what is this? How many positive integers having at least two digits can be found rearranging the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 such that all the digits are in increasing order? 11 are Yes sir. Achha, main dekh leta 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4. Right? So these are the two digit numbers. Now three digit numbers. 1, 2, 3. <laughs> 1, 2, 4, right, and then 1, 3, 4, right, then 2, 3, 4, right, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, how many How simple the question was, you should do this, yeah. Huh. At least two means two digit, three digit, four digit. Right? This you need to solve in the examination. As a question, I just do agree. Right? Okay. All right. Shall you move, guys? Okay, shall you? After that, the question is saying three boys and three girls walking in a row to get movie ticket. Okay. Whenever any two boys are together, they start fighting. Achha. <laughs> to avoid the situation, the girls have decided to not allow any two boys to be together. Okay. In how many ways can all these boys and girls walk in and row? Okay. See, all of you, let's say there are six positions, right? So, you boys to place boys like, boys. Let's say one, three, five. Then 136, right? Then 146 or 246, right? Two boys can't be together. Everybody, yes or no? We need to place the boys like this, right? First place for boy, second way, third way, fifth. So it can be this combination is what? Boy, girl, boy, girl boy girl right this combination is boy girl boy girl girl boy this combination is boy girl girl boy girl boy and this combination is girl sorry girl boy girl and uh, or uh, this boy, right? This girl, this boy. Guys, correct? Huh? Okay. Now, friends, just think on it. Here, three positions are occupied by boys and three positions are occupied by girls, right? So, factorial 3 into factorial 3. This will be 6 into 6, 36. So, 36, 36, 36, 36. So 36 plus 36 plus 36, it is 144. Right. Okay. Just think on it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, clear? <coughs> Done? Okay. All right. Let's move to the next question, guys. Huh? 
आफ्टर दैट मुझे बताइए जरा ये क्वेश्चन सॉल्व होगा आपसे सेवेंटी वन वॉट इज वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस क्वेश्चन सेवेंटी वन वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस क्वेश्चन सी द थिंग इज आप या तो आप सोच सकते हैं प्रिंसिपल मूव इन जीपी राइट सो रेशियो बिटवीन द प्रिंसिपल एंड द सेकेंड थिंग विल बी द सेकेंड एंड थर्ड थिंग राइट देखिए Uh, the question says, in the scheme of compound interest, the certain sum amounts to seven three five zero in two years. So, certain principal amounts to seven three five zero in two years, and क्या लिखा हुआ है eight five seven five, right? Eight five seven five in three years, right? So, guys, here, obviously, here, we just need to think. This difference, कितना आता है one two two five. This is what percentage of this? This will be the rate of interest, right? And obviously, after rate of interest, we'll find the principal also. No problem. So both the parameters, rate of interest and principals. With this information, you can find both the things, right? Good. It's a good question. You don't need to solve the question, but you can tell. How many parameters can be solved with the given information? <coughs> right? Clear? Yes. Okay. Love song. Got the answer? Okay. Its answer? What will be? Aise bataiye. Ye chhod diya aap logon ne. This was the easiest question, I suppose. Pata hi nahi chala. Dekhi, everyone ek baat samajh. अच्छा मुझे एक बात बताइए इफ अ नंबर इज बीइंग डिवाइडेड बाय एन व्हाट इज द मैक्सिमम रिमाइंडर यू कैन गेट एन माइनस वन इफ अ नंबर इज बीइंग डिवाइडेड बाय एन द मैक्सिमम रिमाइंडर कैन बी एन माइनस वन राइट सो हियर जस्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर एन व्हेन डिवाइडेड बाय 31 द क्वोशिएंट एंड रिमाइंडर आर सेम राइट सो गाइस हियर जस्ट थिंक ऑन इट क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग हाउ मेनी वैल्यूज ऑफ एन आर पॉसिबल राइट So, अगर इफ दिस इज नॉट थर्टी वन लेट्स लेट्स दिस इज टू सो इट द नंबर इज टू इन टू वन प्लस वन द सिचुएशन इज लाइक दिस राइट क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग इफ अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर आई मीन थ्री इज डिवाइडेड बाई टू देन क्वेश्चन एंड रिमाइंडर बोथ आर सेम अगेन लेट से लेट से अ नेचुरल नंबर इज बींग डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव सो क्वेश्चन एंड रिमाइंडर आर सेम So first can be five into one plus one, second can be five into two plus two, third can be five into three plus three, fourth can be five into four plus four. Quotient and remainder are same. Guys, yes or no? So if a number is being divided by n, the maximum remainder can be n minus one, right? So if the same question has been asked for five, then the answer will be what? The answer will be four. So if the same question is being asked for thirty-one, then the answer will be. Right? How simple? Right? And you have seen the four numbers, isn't it? Right? A very basic property. Right? So I thought everybody will solve this question, but nobody could solve this question. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it is clear now. Hmm? Okay, shall we? Then, yes. Only one. only one first. Yes, only one. See, guys, the first condition obviously, the first condition is correct, right? Look here, sir. Thirteen to the power thirty-one is greater than thirty-one to the power thirteen. So let's say. 13 to the power 13. Say I'm dividing both the expression, right? I'm dividing both the expression by 13 raised to the power 13. So this is what? This is 13 to the power 18 is greater than what? Two, two point something. Let's say this is 2.5, right? Guys, yes or no? It is correct or not? I have divided both the expressions by 13 raised to the power 13, right? Correct. 
okay so this will be 13 raised to the power 18 and this will be 13 i mean see power 31 uh, 13 would be like coming out so 31 by 13 raised to the power 13 right see this will become what 31 by 13 raised to the power 13 yes or no huh? so this is something 2.5 approx not exactly 2.5 but approx 2.5 clear so this statement is correct first second guys ye to bilkul hi galat dekhi 32 square is 1024 right so 1024 is same as 2 to the power 10 because this is already 2 raised to the power 5 dekhi 2 raised to the power 32 is jo bhi likha hua hai 2 raised to the power 5 raised to the power what 2 so this is 2 raised to the power 10 and this is 2 raised to the power 32. Right, it is clear now? So this is certainly false. Right, after that come to this. Guys, this is what? This is 10 to the power 100 less than, sorry, less than 10 square to the power what? 100 the over 10 the over. So 10 to the power 100 is less than 10 to the power 20 is it not correct right only one of them okay guys chaliye zara kaha pe dao theek hai see this number this base is greater than this base and this power is also greater than this power. Right? That's it. Yeah. Yes, everyone done. Okay. Let's move. Any doubt? No? It's clear, everybody? Hmm? Okay. Shall you? After that. Yes. See? Check a little. See, guys, this is P raised to the power. P is equal to 2 to the power half. Q is equal to... 3 to the power 1 by 3, r is equal to 4 to the power 1 by 4. Correct, guys? Now, friend, do one thing. What is the LCM of these three numbers? 2, 3, 4. 12. So, power 12 of all the numbers. Let's do power 12 of all the numbers. Right. So, power to power is the product of power. So, this is 2 to the power 6. This is 3 to the power 4. This is 4 to the power 3. So this is 64, this is also 64, this is 81. So P and R are equal and Q is greater than them. P and R are equal and Q is greater than them. Yeah, yeah, see. Okay, as it is clear, shall we move? Next question. Yes, guys, when digits of a number are reversed, the resulting number is called the reverse of the original number. For example, 143 and 341 are mutually reversed numbers. Consider the following statements. There are 7 numbers which are 18 less than the, they are reversed. Guys, 18. When they are talking about 18, 18 is the multiple of 9. It must be like they are talking about a 2 digit number. Right, because for 3 digit number it is a multiple of 99. So here they are talking about a 2 digit number, right. So guys for 2 digit number, 18 means what? 9 into 2. So digits ka difference would be 2. So 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Correct guys. So how many numbers? There are 7 numbers. So their reverse will be like 31, 42 and up to 97, right? So these are the number which are 18 less than their, than their reverse, right? So guys, the first statement is correct, right? Yeh to class mein hai namne, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. right. Guys, it is clear. So, the first statement is correct. Right. 
ना वॉट अबाउट द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट गाइज सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट के लिए आप इसको बीच में ना इसके जीरो इंसर्ट कर दीजिए राइट right. अब देखिए दिस नंबर वन जीरो टू होगा एक्चुअली नाइनटी नाइन पूछा है ना वन जीरो टू नाइस वन जीरो टू एंड टू जीरो वन मुझे एक बात बताइए दिस नंबर इज नाइनटी नाइन लेस देन इट्स रिवर्स ये सो नो बट क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग देर आर ओनली एट नंबर्स इज इट करेक्ट जस्ट टेल मी वन थिंग वन वन टू वॉट अबाउट दिस वन टू टू आई मीन आई एम सेइंग I'm fixing this and this will be like any value from zero to nine. Then the same condition will be satisfied. Yes or no? And after that, I'll be coming to two and here again. It will be taking any values from zero to nine. The same condition will be satisfied. I mean, it's two zero three. Sorry, not two zero four. It will be two zero three. Guys, yes or no? Hmm? So they are not only eight; they are more than eight. Right? So here one statement, first statement is correct. Only first. Look here, one thing. Difference between a two-digit number and its reverse is the multiple of nine. So eighteen is the multiple of nine actually. Eighteen is not the multiple of ninety-nine. Got it. So it it must be a two-digit number they are talking about, right? You have been so so much. No. Second, be doable. एक हाँ एक दो में मैंने कहा है ऐसा नहीं है हाँ यस 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 द ओनली सपोर्टर यार यस मान में यस ओके यस सो गाइस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अच्छा लास्ट सर्कल ओके गाइस व्हाट डज द गिवन डायग्राम स्टेबलिश ओके See everybody here. देखिए एक बात समझिए लेट्स अज्यूम दिस एज टू ए ठीक है ठीक सो वॉट विल बी द डायमीटर ऑफ द सर्कल टू ए सो रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल विल बी ए राइट नो फ्रेंड्स रेडियस द क्वेश्चन इज सिंग द डायग्राम इज द सर्कल इज इन साइड द स्क्वायर सो इफ द सर्कल इज इन साइड द स्क्वायर देन ऑब्वियसली एरिया ऑफ द सर्कल विल बी लेसर देन द एरिया ऑफ द स्क्वायर राइट so area of the circle will be lesser than the area of the square so pi a square will be lesser than a square sorry 2a square because side of the square is what 2a ha huh. okay so this is pi a square will be lesser than 4a square so a square a square cancel so pi is lesser than 4 see option Right, right, guys. It is clear. Simple question. Right. Last me, I think I did a little simple. Kar diya ye. <laughs> right. So, guys, overall, how did you like the paper? I mean, how did you find the paper? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So guys, yes, I have tried to, to make a balanced paper actually, 2023 के जैसा. But yes, अब वहाँ पे भी like it was the tough, tougher side. So like we have also put it on the tougher side. And uh, obviously we have tried to make the weightage of all the sections that they have asked in 2023. Right. So but anyways, ऐसे और भी papers जब हम लोग करेंगे, then we will feel confident. Right. Like from the next paper onwards, आपको paper इतना tough नहीं लगेगा. Okay everyone chale thank you guys thank you friends thank you hope you enjoyed the discussion guys thank you thank you yep